Okay, good afternoon everyone. Welcome to today's press conference. We'll run it in the usual format of broadcasts first and the daily second. If you'd like a question, please use the raise hand. We're going to begin with Carve at Sky Sports News. Uh, first of all, how much did what happened on Saturday hurt you and the players? And how do you expect them to react tomorrow night? Well, it hurt us because uh, once you reach a final, you want to win the final when you're so close. And uh, we, we had to overcome a huge opponent in semi-finals. And uh, we had the feeling that we deserved to, to, to be in the final, first of all. And, and um, even after the match, we had the feeling that we deserved to win it. But uh, uh, so we were hurt, of course, but... Um, Disappointed about the result, yes, but not too disappointed about our performance. I think that uh, given the um, circumstances that we play in different competition, which is not so easy because usually, usually the, the pressure and the tension builds up from, from match to match and then it ends up logically in a final. That is not the case for us. We play in three competition and uh, you win the semi-final against Real Madrid then you go back into race of top four. Suddenly you are in the final again of, a, of, a, of, of FA Cup. Then you go back to race of top four. It's not that easy to, to, to be focused and have the concentration level and, and the right amount of tension. Uh, it's not always logical. but um, And for that, given the circumstances, first time with spectators, uh, a big match, we are not also not that experienced in, in finals with our young squad. It was an okay performance and enough performance to beat Leicester and to take the win away, but uh, we were unlucky. And so there's nothing to, to worry too long about. And uh, we spoke about the game, we had a post-match talk. And now we focus on the match tomorrow, which is uh, the same the same opponent, but a totally different uh, competition. How do you think you need to approach this game? Is it a, simply a game that you have to win at all costs, considering what happened with Liverpool yesterday? Well, at, that didn't make things boring uh, in, in, in Premier League, that late goal from, from Alisson, uh, that's for sure. But uh, at all costs, I don't like at all costs because at all cost means, um, yeah, at all cost means at all cost, and this is not what we do. We we want to win games. We're in sports, and this is not about life and death. But it's uh, super important for our ambitions. And this, uh, of course, the the situation is very clear. It's still in our hands. This is uh, absolutely positive, and and what we worked hard for, we should not forget. And um, we approach the game more or less like any other game the, when the, the more tension is on the more normal approach we use because uh, there is a lot of surrounding there's a lot of talks there's a lot of constellations what happens if so the best thing is to to stay focused on what on what you can influence and this is our performance and so we approach this game like any other game with a clear will and desire to win And how much of a difference do you think it could make to your players to have Chelsea fans back in Stamford Bridge tomorrow night? I had in some matches where we struggled a bit and with momentum maybe and and uh, um, I had the feeling during during this run that in many matches that uh, support can help could help now and would be crucial uh, also to our team so having the fans back is, is fantastic and uh, I hope they 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 come in the right moment to help us uh, to secure this last win in Stamford Bridge this season and just a final one for me obviously Tammy wasn't involved on Saturday is that tactical or is it something that you see in training and do you think he still has a future at Chelsea would, would he play for the club again do you think well it's just it's just the amount of people that I can nominate for a game and it's uh, then I have to select 18 for 20 position and then I had uh, we decided to start with Timo Werner on the nine and we had Kai and Oli who can play on the nine so we decided not to have three number nine on the bench this is it it's never personal Kova was not in the in the squad. When Kova comes back now, and maybe uh, Andreas Christensen, I need to I need to figure out the squad and and eliminate even two more players. This is the worst day and the worst decision for me in the whole week, 
because um, I have to say since I arrive here everybody deserves to be in the squad I understand his frustration and it was not the first time and uh, um, we have we have other guys with the same with the same um, situation to, to, to face and this is not the moment to to complain and this is not the moment to explain too much this is the moment just to do to live in the moment these are the decisive two weeks now of the of the whole season so this is the situation and uh, this is it John Southall Five Live Hi Thomas um, did you watch the Liverpool game yesterday? And if you did, what were your thoughts when the goalkeeper pops up in the last minute? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I, I came home in the afternoon and then I I, I checked on my I checked on I, I switched through the telly. I saw one one in the middle of second half and I thought, oh, that's not a bad result. So I was a bit superstitious and did not follow. And when I checked on my phone, it was actually 95th minute and it was still one one. And when I checked uh, one one minute later on my phone. Um, I had to realize that superstitious uh, does not work always and maybe never but uh, did, not, did not help not to watch it obviously I took the wrong the, the wrong decision if that had any influence well like I said that does not make things boring it was a fantastic header I saw it today I saw it today it was a fantastic header in the last minute uh, that makes things pretty interesting and pretty tight but still it's in our hands and uh, like I said, I said um, somebody asked me after the final if this was a major setback for us for Tuesday. No, the setback was the Arsenal game. It's our fault that it's so so close again. Uh, we le we let the door open, and so uh, Liverpool put a foot into the door. This is uh, what they do. This is a strong team, and anyway, we had a, we had a huge effort to overcome them and to close the gap to them, to overtake them. This is what we did, and we can be absolutely aware of this uh, of this huge performance that we did so far. But we want to finish the job and uh, need to refocus uh, today, forget all the all the other results, and and rely on ourselves because we are in the. In the in the lucky situation that we can rely on our, ourselves and don't have to look on other grounds. And how big a job is it for you to make sure the players are mentally ready? Because I suppose it's only natural that doubts are now going to creep in after a couple of defeats. Yeah, of course. And then it's natural, and then it's natural also to 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 be ready again. Um, there, there was not. I we were not so. I was. I was more worried about and more angry about our performance in the Arsenal game, uh, where I had the feeling that we were not sharp enough and not uh, not on point uh, and did not d d put put the bar to the level to 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 bring us uh, um, a, a victory home. Still, we have, uh, and, but what was what's not the case in the final? I think um, if we if we bring out the same performance like in the final, the same energy, the same work rate against the ball, and improve in like we always want to do, slightly improve in details of the match and decision making, we are absolutely able to win matches. We are absolutely aware that we need a, a, a momentum and a bit of luck in any match to have results. That is um, that's that's like this. You see yesterday in Liverpool, this is nothing you can plan. This is just, yeah, this is sometimes you have the luck and sometimes you don't. And we clearly did not have it against Leicester. It's a bit of awkward feeling because we lost two games. If you look at all data that we normally rely on, crucial data that have actually also a, a correspondence and a, relation, a correlation to the result, You've, you see no reason on the data why we should lose both matches. But... We lost them, and so we lack a bit of the of 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 luck in the match and the little decisions, and and hopefully we can bring it back. But you cannot force it. I I I I'm not a friend of like now trying too hard. We try hard all the time, and uh, we should rely on ourselves that we cannot try harder than we than we any anyway try all the time. And this is what we demand. So. Uh, when the pressure is on, stay relaxed, stay calm, be be focused on yourself, and and do what you are best in. And this is like uh, playing as a, as a team, as a hungry team and an aggressive team. This is what we want to have tomorrow. Last one, John. As you, yeah, as you mentioned, the moment's got eight thousand fans inside Stamford Bridge. It'll be the first time for you to have yeah. supporters at home, and it, ha it has to give you an advantage, doesn't it? Having having them behind you. 
normally absolutely yes in a in a in a in a moment where it's the first time after i don't know one and a one over one year to, uh, <laughs> no, uh we have to see what, what what's what's going on it's eight thousand it's it's it feels uh, amazing that it's possible and it's a step in the absolutely right direction and hopefully everything is 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 okay with that but uh yeah we hope that it's uh, it's it's the extra percentage of of supports that help us to 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 win tomorrow. James, talk sport. Thomas, it's back to back one 0 defeats. And yep. any, any reoccurring themes that you feel that you need to get right in the next few weeks? I think we had a lot of games that we won, 1-0, with the same performance, with the same attitude and the same statistics. And I'm not only talking about uh, whatever, how many kilometers we run or, or the opponents or ball possession. I'm talking about the statistics that really count and and that have a correlation to the result. Um, like I said, when, when, when I started, I will always try to be reliable with the players and, and look at the performance and, and try to criticize or praise them for, the, for what they did and not for what, the, what is on the scoreboard. Because sometimes in football, the result is not reliable and it does not, maybe it's not, sometimes not logical. And uh, while we were missing, while we were winning the data against, against Arsenal, but still I was missing a certain energy, a certain uh, focus and, 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 and determination, uh, then we clearly speak about it with the team and this is what we, what we demanded and, and what we got um, 100% from the team in, in, the, in the Leicester game and in the, in the FA Cup final. So no hard complaints and no, no hard feelings and we are, we are pretty uh, disappointed about the result but not about the way we behaved on the pitch. Uh, during the match, this match we can win this the same match um, uh, absolutely well deserved if we are a little bit more lucky and and well the decision uh, in front of the goal the decision uh, like later in front of our of cycle are, are tiny tiny decisions and not in our favor and and this is what you need so fighting hard now for for getting the momentum back for having another clean sheet it makes you realize that how 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 tight the the race is and how how tiny the margin is that decide in football for win and loss so nothing else has changed and and um, yeah it is easier to 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 handle your self confidence and to be self confident in moments when you constantly win but this is the target and uh, come on no nobody needs to needs to be to be afraid of this situation this is what we worked for so hard and here we come one more please james and you spoke there about luck momentum how do you get that back now for these next three matches <laughs> Do the same. Do the same. What we always do. Like I said, we were ready to win the game in in, in the cup final, and we and I have. Uh, I can also understand that after Real Madrid, the Manchester City game, and before a cup final, that there can be a bit of a drop of determination, a drop of 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 focus for this Arsenal game. I have understanding. We don't want it. We never want it. We fight against this human. Uh, this, maybe this, this this human side to to drop a li uh, some percentage. We fight against it because this is our our job to do it. But but I can even understand it. Um, and for for Leicester, like I said, for Leicester, I have no worries. I have no regrets. I saw my team fighting. I felt my team fighting. I felt my team defending on a on a on a extremely high level again. We can improve in decision making, we can improve in composure, but this is, let's be honest, not completely new to us uh, since, we, since, we, <laughs> since we are together. So except for the result, nothing much has changed and I'm, I'm not afraid to, to say that uh, these are not deserved, these are not deserved um, losses, but still they are losses and it's always a, a bit of a challenge to cope with it. And so it's the next step in our development together, in our, uh, in our development together, yes. Last question in broadcast, Ms. Arkansas. Hi Thomas, you were talking about defending on a high level. I think one of the success stories has been Tony Rudiger this season. Um, yeah. and he's playing with a mask as well, um, a broken face. Um, can you tell us a bit about um, you know, his warrior spirit to play through that injury and, and how important he's been for you? And, and also, um, does that mean you're going to try and push for a contract for him in the summer as well? Well, he can. He cannot. He can. He can, nothing. Nothing. Um, 
nothing is better than what he's doing to fight for a new contract. If he wants to have a new contract, he has our full support. If he wants to stay in the club, uh, then to, uh, speaking with performances, and this is what he's doing, uh, is absolutely amazing. And since day one, uh, we chose him in, in the first match after one training. It was an unfair decision against against Kurt, but it was... He was he was German. We had a, I had a I had a clearer picture of what he can do. Of of course, because I followed him a bit more than than Kurt Zuma. so it was an unfair decision, and and it was like um, I had a clear picture of what I can can ask of him and what he can be capable to to deliver to a team. Um, and he took the chance. It was not since then. He is absolutely well deserved that he is in the team. He is uh, kind of an aggressive leader. He has this natural aggressive aggressivity in him. He uh, he hates to lose. He is uh, hard to beat in duels. He is uh, very very brave and and uh, full of energy in in defending. And um, yeah, he's um, he's. Um, He's, he's, he's leading by, by example. He's, like I said, uh, uh, he has a, a, a very positive aggressivity in him and um, this is what we like. And, uh, and when he can channel all this into, into top performances like he does now, we are all very, very happy to have him. Okay, that's the end of the broadcast section.